Hello, welcome back everybody. My name's Stu and today I'm going to tell you my personal opinion on the top five fishing movies of all time. And uh, again, this is my opinion. I mean, I do feel my opinion's pretty accurate, but totally my opinion. And um, yeah, so the first one we're going to talk about is on Golden Pond. Super old movie. It's with uh, Jane Fonda and... What's that guy's name? So it's Jane Fonda and Henry Fonda and Catherine Hepburn. Uh, basically, it boils down to a couple of old folks. The guy, Henry Fonda, is getting pretty old. And his uh, daughter has a new boyfriend. And uh, the boyfriend has a son who's a city boy. Comes to spend a little bit of time out in the summer. And they, they're trying to catch that elusive fish called Walter. The big bad boy. So there's some struggles. There's some life lessons. It's just a good wholesome movie, and that's why it comes in at number five on my top five. So let's watch the trailer. Golden Pond. Listen, this Norman Thayer Jr. over in Golden Pond. Oh, Norman, it's so beautiful. Everything's just waking up. Ethel Thayer. Sound like I'm lisping, doesn't it? My, oh, my, you have on a tie. Yes, I know. I put it there. You look sexy. I hear you turned 80 today. Is that what you heard? Man, that's really old. You should meet my father. Hey, hey oh, oh, mommy. Darling. It means so much to him to have you here. Look at this little fat girl, Ethel. Sure, now he's got someone he can pick on. Bill Ray. Bill Ray. Yes, sir. The dentist? Yes, sir. Want to see my teeth? Oh. We like to sleep together in the same room, same bed. You know, if it's not offensive to you. He said they wanted to sleep together. You and I did, didn't we? Oh, I guess I'd be delighted to have you abuse my daughter under my own roof. Would you like the room where I first violated her mother? What I'd like to know is why you enjoy playing games. You seem to like beating people. But darling, you're wrong about your dad. He does care. He cares deeply. I'm afraid of him. Well, he's afraid of you. So you should get along fine. No, he won't. And you know why? Because he doesn't care. He is a selfish son of a... I know I'm just being dumped here. Turkeys don't want me. Boo. This is a trout. What do you do up there in California? Cruise chicks. What do you do with them when you have them? Suck face. Good God! Hey, man, you don't have to yell at me. He wasn't yelling at you. He was yelling at life. What the heck does that mean? Oh, he's like an old lion. He has to remind himself that he can still roar. Scared me half to death. Billy! Billy! That's why I came running back here to you. See your pretty face. <laughs> Listen to me, mister. You're my knight in shining armor. It seems that you and me have been mad at each other for so long. I didn't know we were mad at that. We just didn't like each other. I, I want to be your friend. You want to dance? Or would you rather just suck face? <laughs> Catherine Hepburn, Henry Fonda, Jane Fonda. Lord Great presents a Mark Rydell film on Golden Pond from Universal Pictures. But yeah, it's a good movie. Check it out. And let's get on to number four. All right, number four. This one is probably probably the funniest one. Yeah, I'd say it's a, on my list, it's the biggest comedy. It is called Gone Fishing with Joe Pesci and Danny Glover. A couple of best buds win a fishing trip. And because they're a bit goofy, a lot of slapstick comedy, Everything that could possibly go wrong on this fishing trip goes wrong, and it creates for some really funny moments. Great job acting by both these guys, and it's just a really fun, entertaining movie to watch. So, again, number four, Gone Fishing. Here's the trailer. Look at the boat. Check. Beer, gear, Dramamine. Check, check, check. We go fishing. For Joe and Gus. We go fishing! Fishing is their life. Hey, Joe! Everything else is a detail. 
So with a four-day vacation... It's going to be a 10. 10 plus. Borderline 11. A full tank of gas and a case of cold beer. Nothing. Absolutely nothing will stand between them and their dream. <laughs> hey, good! Yeah. It's just like a ride! Yeah, yeah. Uh -oh. Train! Caravan Pictures invites you... You guys need a ride? Because yeah. babes. <laughs> ...to come along... Oh, weird. ...with Joe Pesci. That's it? Uh, I'm not exactly a little kid, you know. I can drink a full glass. Danny Glover. Gosh, you okay? Switch sleep looking are you? I can see you guys are professional fishermen. <laughs> Who, with the flick of a wrist... <laughs> you two jerks. You're just a pair of kids. <laughs> can turn four days in paradise... <laughs> into a living hell. Hey, you remember that movie Deliverance? Well, I don't want to squeal like a pig. Gone Fishing. <laughs> the story of two guys... I can't go! Spin him around, guys! I'll get the pig! ...who can't catch a break. The truth is, it can't get any worse. <laughs> Great movie, like I said, super funny. Um, yeah, I love it. I promise you'll laugh at least once. You'll laugh at least once watching it. So go check it out. It's great. And now on to number three. All right, number three is the only one on this list that's actually based on a true story. Believe it or not, it's a bit different. It's about uh, deep sea fishing, and it stars the heartthrob George Clooney. Mark Wahlberg, John C. Riley. It's got some other great cast too. It's it's good cast of movie. It's entertaining. It's funny. It's dramatic. And it might even make you have a tear at the end. So, number three, the perfect storm, baby. Let's watch the trailer. In the fall of 1991. The Andrea Gale left Gloucester, Massachusetts and headed for the fishing grounds of the North Atlantic. Two weeks later, an event took place that had never occurred in recorded history. I love it. It's a great movie. I watch it probably once a year. Uh, I definitely highly recommend it. And like I said, it's based on a true story, which gives it that little bit extra. So it's kind of cool. And now we're on to number two. And number two, I'm sure pretty much everybody on the face of the planet almost has heard about Grumpy Old Man. It is great. Walter Matthau, John, Jack Lemon, John Lemon, Jack Lemon. Ah, I can't remember. Correct me down below. Um, Two buddies that I think most guys can uh, can relate to the whole guy friendship where you razz each other, bust each other, but they actually are best friends. And uh, these two old fellas fight like cats and dogs, but they're, they're best buds. And um, they do this one has ice fishing in it, which is completely different than all the other movies. And it's just great. There's a sequel to it, which also gets an honorable mention called Grumpier Old Men. And it's uh, based out in the summertime. But Grumpy Old Men, number two, my favorite list of movies. So let's watch it. And uh, yeah, watch. let's watch the trailer. The 30s have 
Kevin and Todd Field oh, and the ball. I kicked your ass. Yeah, wait, 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 you when you stole my liniment. You kicked my Jack ass. Lemon. Jack Lemon. And Walter Matthau. Believe me, this man is a menace. He's always drinking, starting fights. Isn't that right? They're both grumpy old men. Why don't you do the world a favor and pull your lip over your head and swallow? <laughs> Idiot. Eat my shorts. So, so what? But after 50 years... What? ...of fighting over nothing... What? What? So? What? They finally found something... Holy... Oh, my God. Moly. ...worth fighting for. See, women get obsessed with me. It's like one of them fatal attraction things. Jack Lemon. Your cat crapped on my steps again. Yeah, who says you can't train a cat? Walter Matthau. Why would a woman come over at 1.30 in the morning to see you? Just why do you think, bonehead? Oh my car. And Margaret. John, when was the last time you made love? October 4th. 1978. Grumpy old men. Yeah, like I said, great movie. Uh, it's super funny. I love it. I just love the bickering between the two old parts. And uh, like I said, I think a lot of people can relate to their relationship. So it's I just love it. It's one of my favorites. And um, that brings us to number one. On my list. All right. This is number one on my list of my top five favorite fishing movies of all time. This one might not be everybody's number one. It might not be everybody's cup of tea, but uh, I relate to this one. I relate to Brad Pitt's character, his love of fishing, and I feels like it was just born to do. Um, it's great. Like I said, it's got a great cast of uh, Brad Pitt. And I'm, I didn't do my research. I can't. Tom Skerritt, I believe, is in it. And there's another guy that's in it who's great, too. You'll recognize him from maybe One Tree Hill. But like I said, great movie about two brothers growing up in Montana, fly fishing. And for one of them, fly fishing's life. And I understand that. This is my all-time favorite uh, fishing movie. And it's called Our River Runs Through It. It is often those we live with and love, the ones we care about the most, who elude us. Even now, when I look back on the Montana of my youth, I long to understand what happened there and why. Norm, what do you want to be when you grow up? Minister, I guess. What are you going to be? First or fly fisherman? There's no such thing. Hmm. My brother Paul and I grew up in a time when the land was still untouched. In Montana, there are three things we're never late for. Church, work, and fishing. It was a world of wonder and possibility. I'm in love with Jessie Burns. With all the fish in the river. I'm not like her. But it was a tough world, too. You're picking your brother up too much lately. Like Why is it the people who need the most help won't take it? I know how we can go down in history. I understand he's changed the spelling of our name. I want you to know I can help. Ah! Boys, what have you done? You're in debt up your damn neck. I'll be fine. To men. The world is full of bastards. The number increasing rapidly the further one gets from Missoula, Montana. Amen. In life and in love. <laughs> All memories become one. And a river runs through it. From Academy Award winning director Robert Redford comes the classic story 
of an American family. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend you do. It's a great movie if you love fishing and I don't know. It's a great movie. I love it. I mean, can we just talk about for a second how Brad Pitt pretty much won the handsome lottery? Like, that guy. God, he's a freaking handsome dude. But yeah, anyway, those are my top five favorite movies of all time. Fishing movies. If you have a different one, please let me know down below. Maybe there's one I missed. Maybe you have a favorite fishing movie I've never heard of. And I would love to hear about it. So let me know down below. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful day.